medical experts who've been monitoring trials of plasma therapy as a possible life-saving measure for critical COVID patients say there's a certain amount of lethargy when it comes to plasma therapy and plasma that is available is exclusively for ICMR run trials and not yet available for other patients. They are also calling for the repositioning of plasma therapy and not let it become a last minute salvage therapy. This is my second birth, I have come back again. I have been treating COVID-19 patients from day one, right into the ICU, to the isolation also. My request to all my Indian citizens, brothers and sisters, is all those who have been affected by COVID-19 and who have gone back home, please, I am requesting them with folding hands that they should donate their plasma because it is the need of the hour and we'll be able to save many lives. An appeal from one of Mumbai's best known doctors. Plasma will be able to save lives. After being affected by COVID-19 himself, Dr. Jalil Parker, well-known pulmonary physician, spoke about the bureaucratic hurdles in treatment for COVID-19, especially plasma therapy. This after the ICMR came down heavily on the civic body run Nair Hospital, for distribution of plasma units to hospitals not registered for the trial and even threatened that the trial could be taken away from them. Nair Hospital had been given permission to conduct trials for plasma therapy along with Kasturba Hospital at that time. In today's history, we have to save patients. And to save patients, we don't want to save patients. We try to save patients to save patients. तो आप लोग ये जो बाधाएं डालते हैं हम पर कि पेपर वर्क होना चाहिए पेपर वर्क नहीं हो गया तो तुम्हारे पास केस कर डालेंगे प्लाज्मा दिए तो केस करेंगे रेमडेसिविर दिए तो केस करेंगे रेमडेसिविर अवेलेबल नहीं है टोसिलिजुमाब अवेलेबल नहीं है तो ये सब चीजों से हमें बहुत दिक्कत होती है और हम लोगों की जान बचा नहीं पा रहे Doctors monitoring plasma therapy trials say there needs to be a complete relook at the plasma therapy regime. Currently in Mumbai, only patients who are registered for the trial can be administered plasma. Experts add it should not be used as a last-minute salvage measure for critical patients. I think that we need to look at repositioning plasma. In fact, I don't think we need to wait for plasma for patients to get into the severe disease because at that time, when you get into severe disease, you are looking at plasma as, look, if nothing is working, let us try plasma. Once you know that you're dealing with somebody who's most likely to get into a complication, you ought to be offering the plasma at that stage and not waiting for it to become uh, you know, a last minute salvage therapy when patients are on ventilator and nothing else is working. Doctors say there is a lethargy when it comes to applying plasma therapy on patients who are dying. I think that the problem is not so much about people who are being infected. I think there is, for, for a term that can be applied loosely, there is a lethargy. We are not making it important enough for people to people who have recovered, to donate plasma. I think it is, it is very important for this to be uh, made into the mindset of people who have recovered, that this can very easily become a therapy. It's no more complicated than simply giving a blood, you know, a pack cell that you would give as a blood donation. Medical experts say the ICMR coming down heavily on Nair Hospital has led to lesser instances of plasma therapy being explored as a life-saving measure for critical COVID-19 patients. They say if the stringent protocols are relaxed, then donors will automatically follow appeals from public personalities for plasma donation. In Mumbai, with camera person Rajendra Dhyalkar and Pooja Bhardwaj, Saurabh Gupta, NDTV. Well, NDTV has been campaigning to create more awareness about uh, plasma donation and how it can save lives if more and more uh, patients who have recovered from coronavirus come forward. To talk more about this, we're joined by Tabrez, a plasma donor. In fact, uh, one of the first people in Delhi to have donated plasma. Also, Dr. Anand Mohan, HOD Pulmonary Medicine Department at Ames, uh, will also be joined later by Dr. Suresh Kumar, Medical Director of LNJP Hospital, and Dr. Romel Tikko, Associate Director, Internal Medicine 
Medicine at Max Healthcare in Delhi. Well, uh, Dr. Mohan, I'd like to start with you first. You just saw this report that NDTV had done about the issues being faced in, uh, in Mumbai when it comes to plasma therapy. And do you agree with what the doctors there were saying about how there needs to be a complete relook at plasma therapy? It, it shouldn't be something that's used just at the last moment. Uh, well, plasma therapy is an upcoming uh, kind of therapy, as you have already shown. It was used earlier in other viral uh, epidemics as well. Uh, as far as data is concerned, data is one side, then clinical management is the other side. So one has to draw a very fine balance between the two. Clinical, uh, the data is not, as of now, very robust because obviously it is a new disease. So whatever trials and data we have, it it is just plus minus it is not showing a very clear cut benefit of plasma therapy if it uh, if you go by hard evidence per se on the other hand it is also true that it is difficult to generate evidence during immediately during a pandemic because right. one has to treat the patients also so one has to balance the two as far as um, I, I i know that there are large number of trials going on in india by various hospitals and also that it is uh, to be used in moderate to severe covid cases so Yes, I do agree that at the end stage, it may not be useful. By that time, probably it is already too late. So we have to do it at a time when the patient may be going towards criticality, at a time when we give him some time to recover and some opportunity to recover as well. So a relook, of course, the protocols may be relook, but that depends upon what data is emerging from whatever we have. One cannot just change the uh, protocols uh, arbitrarily. There has to be some grounds for that. But yes, we have to continue the educational work. We have to motivate the people to continue to give, uh, to donate those who have recovered so that at least in the clinical trials also, right now it is approved for use in clinical trials. Even if we go by that, I think there are a large number of hospitals who are undergoing, who are into this clinical trial and we should have a substantial number of patients benefiting from this, even under the ambit of clinical trials, provided right. people give the, the, the donations. Right. Uh, doc Dr. Tiku, what is your view on this? Do you feel there needs to be less red tape, less bureaucratic procedures for more and more hospitals? I know in Delhi, a lot of hospitals, Max has been doing uh, plasma therapy, but in other parts of the country where a lot of patients are also very critical, uh, do you think there needs to be less red tape when it comes to plasma therapy? Definitely. But at the same time, we also have to understand that this is an experimental treatment and we don't have enough data. So whatever data we have till now shows that it does benefit severe cases. And uh, this therapy has been used in the past. But as you said rightly, we need more uh, data on this. And uh, since uh, we don't have enough data as of now, we would want to save lives. We don't have any other drug. There is no specific treatment for COVID-19 cases. But we really have to choose the patient. We can't give it in mild cases. We can't give it in critical cases who already have uh, multi-organ failure. So it has to be somebody who just is on the verge of uh, getting into ventilatory support, has ARDS, has uh, respiratory failure. So in that sense, we can save many lives. The focus is on saving lives right now. But having said that, yes, we don't have enough data and um, large control trials will help us to do that. But what I would like to say here is that it's the challenge of getting the donor. People are not coming forward and donating. Something needs to be done about that because uh, what they feel is uh, they've been uh, out of a dreadful disease. They don't want to go back to the hospital for screening, for donating. So what we have to do is at the time of discharge, we have to counsel these patients. We have to keep the communication lines open with them for the next two weeks, keep uh, talking to them, motivating them so that they come forward and donate. And it also uh, gives them an opportunity to contribute to the society and to become heroes. I mean, nothing like saving a life. Uh, I can vouch for that. Absolutely. And we're seeing appeals in our report. Also, we saw an appeal by a doctor yesterday. Mumbai's mayor also appealed in Delhi as well. We've had the chief minister appeal for more people to come forward. We're joined by one such donor, Tabrez, with us. Tabrez ji, you have done blood donate kiya tha, coronavirus se recover karne ke baad, to aapke, uh, आप अपने एक्सपीरियंस के बारे में हमें बताइए आपको कुछ डाउट थे कुछ आपको काउंसल किया गया था नहीं मैम मुझे कोई डाउट नहीं था और जब मैंने देखा था टीवी के ऊपर न्यूज़ के अंदर कि प्लाज्मा थेरेपी से पेशेंट ठीक हो रहे हैं तब मुझे मैं डिसाइड किया कि मैं अपना प्लाज्मा डोनेट करूंगा और प्लाज्मा डोनेट करने से काफी अच्छा लगता है मैं चार बार अपना प्लाज्मा डोनेट कर चुका हूं चार बार और नेक्स्ट टाइम भी हुआ तो मैं करूंगा इसमें कोई दिक्कत नहीं है कोई परेशानी नहीं है और मैं तो यही कहूंगा कि जितने भी 
कोविड नाइन्टीन से ठीक होकर आए हैं लोग उनको आगे आना चाहिए और अपना प्लाज्मा डोनेट करना चाहिए आज के टाइम में देश को हम जैसे लोगों की जरूरत है और इसमें कोई परेशानी नहीं है कोई दिक्कत नहीं है अच्छा फील होता है लगता है कि हमने देश के लिए कुछ किया है अपने देशवासियों के लिए कुछ किया है तो मैं उन लोगों से अपील करना चाहूंगा कि इसमें कोई परेशानी नहीं है कोई दिक्कत नहीं है आप जितने भी प्लाज्मा डॉटर हैं उनको आगे आना चाहिए डोनेट करना चाहिए और कोई दिक्कत नहीं आती है देखिएगा मैं चार बार प्लाज्मा डोनेट कर चुका हूँ मुझे बिल्कुल कोई परेशानी नहीं हो रही और नेक्स्ट टाइम भी मैं प्लाज्मा डोनेट जरूर करूंगा जी और ताबरे जी अब अप, अपने फैमिली के बारे में बताइए क्योंकि ये भी बात सामने आ रही है कि अक्सर ये जो फैमिली मेंबर्स है वो थोड़ा पेशेंट को मना कर देते हैं उनको थोड़ा भय होता है डर होता है तो इसके बारे में आप क्या कह सकते हैं जी जी हाँ थोड़ा सा दिक्कत आता है कि फैमिली के लोग कहते हैं कि भाई नहीं प्लाज्मा देने से या ब्लड देने से आपने कमजोरी भी आएगी आपके अंदर परेशानी आएगी तो उनको काउंसिल करना हमारा काम है हम उनको समझा सकते हैं हम उनका एग्जाम्पल दे सकते हैं अपने दोस्तों का या अपने जानकारों का जी दोस्तों वो भी प्लाज्मा डोनेट करके आए हैं उन्हें कोई दिक्कत नहीं आई है कोई परेशानी नहीं आई है तो साइंटिफिकली इसको समझाया जाएगा कि भी प्लाज्मा क्या है कुछ नहीं है जस्ट जिस तरीके से पसीना बाहर आता है वैसे ही प्लाज्मा है एक बार डॉक्टर से मेरी बात हुई थी उन्होंने कहा था कि जो प्लाज्मा है वो आपके पसीने से भी बाहर आ जाता है हम क्रिकेट खेलने जा रहे हैं या हम लोग मॉर्निंग वॉक के लिए जा रहे हैं या जिम जा रहे हैं वहां भी हम अपना पसीना बहाते हैं तो पसीना क्या है जस्ट प्लाज्मा है अगर हम लोग सही से पानी पी लेते हैं तो कोई दिक्कत नहीं आती है तो अपनी फैमिली को काउंसलिंग करना हमारा काम बनता है और उनको बताना चाहिए कि आज देश को हमारे जैसे लोगों की जरूरत है इसलिए हमें आगे आके प्लाज्मा डोनेट करना चाहिए जी डॉक्टर कुमार आल्सो हियर विद अस डॉक्टर कुमार व्हाट व्हाट डू यू थिंक नीड्स टू बी डन टू यू नो गेट मोर पीपल टू कम फॉरवर्ड टू काउंसिल देम इट डू थिंक इट इज द गवर्नमेंट दैट शुड आल्सो बी मेकिंग मोर ऑफ अ पुश एट अ टाइम व्हेन ट्रीटमेंट इज टेकिंग प्लेस इन हॉस्पिटल्स टू रजिस्टर पीपल एंड यू नो एजुकेट देम अबाउट वंस दे आर क्योर्ड हाउ दे शुड कम फॉरवर्ड एंड हेल्प सेव अदर लाइव्स यू आर राइट दैट वी हैव सक्सेसफुली ट्रीटेड मोर देन 2700 पेशेंट एट लोकनायक हॉस्पिटल लार्जेस्ट कोविड हॉस्पिटल ऑफ कंट्री सो वी ऑलवेज मोटिवेट देम टू डोनेट प्लाज्मा बट मोस्ट ऑफ दीज पेशेंट्स आर फ्रॉम आउटसाइड दिल्ली समबडी इज फ्रॉम तमिलनाडु सो दे सेड कि हम तो ठीक हो गए अब हम दो हफ्ते नहीं रुक सकते बिकॉज द आइडियल टाइम टू डोनेट द प्लाज्मा इज टू टू थ्री वीक्स आफ्टर द रिकवरी when patient become negative he or she can donate <coughs> ideal time is 2 to 3 weeks so there is a some problem when patients is from outside delhi in our setup and we have the uh, lot of uh, awareness program in our hospital and uh, we always motivate uh, these potential donor that they, we always uh, keep a list uh, we have a, a counseling session and uh, there is a fear in the mind of people kyunki wo kehte hain ki abhi to hum theek hue hain abhi hum वो सोचते हैं कि ये तो ब्लड डोनेशन जैसा ही है सो so, हम उनका जो भी फेयर होता है उनके दिमाग में हम वो पूरा समझाते हैं उनको पूरा प्रोसेस समझाते हैं कि जैसे अभी एक डोनर ने बताया कि कोई कमजोरी नहीं आती है और एक से ज्यादा बार भी आप डोनेट कर सकते हैं सो so, जैसे आपका ये प्रोग्राम है इससे लोगों को ज्यादा अवेयरनेस होगी और ज्यादा लोग इसके डोनेशन के लिए आएंगे सो दिस इज वेरी गुड कैंपेन यू आर डूइंग थ्रो योर चैनल आई मस्ट कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट यू एंड मोर पीपल नीड टू बी एजुकेटेड इट्स अ सिंपल प्रोसीजर there are basic test that pa- patients should not have heart disease uh, hiv or hepatitis so we have a screening program and those who are healthy donor don- those are the only uh, patients we consider for plasma donation all right uh, uh, dr mohan uh, you know we, we just heard tabrez's example in which he talks about how he's donated four times and uh, and and you know it was very inspiring and very frankly he spoke about uh, about yes there were doubts within his family and it often happens that family members are the ones who kind of uh, try to hold back the patient from donating thinking they've just recovered uh, what do you feel needs to be done to to make this process smoother because we're getting many reports of families very desperately looking for plasma donors and uh, there are a lot of uh, you know private individuals who've come forward there are organizations that have come forward to help you know these people in this in this time of crisis but do you think the government can do more on this front uh well i think they already are but there is always a scope to improve and i think education education motivation publicity these are the things which have to be done because after all this is something very new and i don't think the majority of the public knows about it very recently last couple of months only this therapy has been kind of being used for this particular disease so it is more about awareness 
awareness campaigns in whatever way possible, whether through media, whether through posters, or whether in the hospitals where it is being done, where the patients are being admitted at that very point itself probably would be the best place to start this off. So basically, there are education and awareness campaigns which have to be done, plus the fact that whomsoever wants it, whether maybe the hospitals may have a kind of a waiting list with them, a list of people who are potential donors, they can be called at that particular time to give it when somebody needs it because there is a shelf life also. There is some kind of shelf life if you want fresh, uh, fresh uh, plasma. So all okay. these things can be uh, done and maybe this can help to improve the situation. Right. Uh, Dr. Tiku, uh, again, uh, what, what do you feel can be done to make this process smoother? Well, I think uh, definitely we need more awareness campaigns on the lines of Arogya Setu where people are made aware of uh, plasma therapy and what exactly it means. And at the same time, uh, we should show videos of people who have received plasma and have recovered, and then maybe the, their stories will motivate people to come forward and donate. And at the same time, Which we can what, make... what the... we're trying to do here at NDTV. You also spoke about how it's all, it's an experimental, uh, you know, it's an experimental therapy right now, and there's no uh, conclusive evidence. But all this will take time, isn't it? Because uh, right now, as far as coronavirus goes, everything right now is experimental. We're still struggling to find those, uh, uh, cu the, the cure for coronavirus, even remdesivir that's just come into the market. is not a sure shot cure. It, it helps to a certain extent. Plasma therapy, too helps to a certain extent and can save lives. Definitely. We don't know how much these drugs help. As of now, we don't have any treatment, but we have to save lives, as we've already said. And all these drugs are in are part of trials as of now. Even the plasma therapy, uh, we don't know. These uh, severe pa patients receive lots of treatment. I mean, there's a cocktail of drugs. Tocilizumab, there is steroids, then there is hydroxychloroquine, and there is plasma therapy. So we don't know how much plasma is contributing to their improvement, but uh, whatever experience we have uh, in the last two, three months, it definitely seems to be helping. So we have to try uh, whatever we have in our arsenal to uh, save these patients. Now, newer drugs are coming, remdesivir, and as we already said that you need to have the right patient for this. Right. So they definitely uh, benefit if given at the right time and we can be, uh, we would be able to save many lives. All right. And uh, Dr. Kumar, uh, w what do you think can be done, you know, to encourage more and more people to come forward in Delhi? Yes, I think there's a certain amount of awareness, but in other parts of the country as well, uh, more examples of how plasma therapy has actually helped patients. Uh, Ma'am, we have successfully completed a pilot study in 20 patients and we are given permission by the government uh, to go for second phase. That is 200 patients uh, we are permitted to conduct this study at Mulanajad Medical College. So, uh, in this uh, larger trial, we are having the, uh, more patients and once we complete the 200 patients and another 200 control, that is total 400 patients uh, we are uh, going right. to study. And this will give the biggest uh, data in the country. Uh, we are doing the randomized control trial. And after this trial, we can say that uh, this is the robust data and we can uh, show that uh, are they, these patients are really benefited or uh, what... Uh, Actual, uh, uh, this data analysis will only tell because this is just in the preliminary stage, so we can't say that uh, how much benefit, uh, as my friend told, that uh, there are a lot of antiviral drugs, steroids. So we are definitely uh, helping the patient to save the life and plasma therapy is one of the modality which is emerging and which is promising. So in initial 20 patients, we have seen that uh, out of uh, 20 patients, 16 patients did very well and they survived and they moved out of the ICU. So right. this is very good, uh, very good uh, uh, therapy, but uh, we need more uh, data and more uh, scientific evidence to say that it is really a, a very good therapy. All right, and, uh, and this I awareness is needed. All right. Thank you so much, uh, doctors, for joining us and, and you know, telling us more about this and uh, about plasma therapy. And final word, Tabrez, what is your message? Kya hai? Please tell our viewers. You said that you have donated four times, your blood, your plasma, and you have saved people's lives. I would like to appeal to those people who have been sick from COVID-19, that you have come to come और अपना प्लाज्मा डोनेट कीजिए क्योंकि आपके प्लाज्मा से कई लोगों का जीवन बच रहा है ये सबसे बड़ा जीवन दान है यही सबसे बड़ी देशभक्ति है और यही सबसे बड़ी ईश्वर की आराधना है और मैं बहुत शुक्र गुजार हूँ एनडी टीवी का कि उन्होंने इस तरह की मुहिम चलाई है जिससे कई लोगों की जान बच सकती है और कई लोग अब मेरे ख्याल से सामने आएंगे और अपना प्लाज्मा डोनेट करेंगे 
मैं ये बता देना चाहता हूँ कि मैं चार बार प्लाज्मा डोनेट करने के बाद कोई कमजोरी नहीं कोई परेशानी नहीं कोई दिक्कत नहीं है दो बार मैंने आई के अंदर किया है बाकी मैंने गंगाराम हॉस्पिटल के अंदर प्लाज्मा डोनेट किया है तो मैं सभी लोगों से अपील करना चाहूंगा दोबारा से कि आप लोग आइए ये समय देश को आप सबकी जरूरत है और आप सबसे बड़े हीरो बनकर सामने आएंगे अगर आप अपना प्लाज्मा डोनेट करते हैं Ji thank you so much there you heard it from Tabrez he's donated his blood four times for plasma therapy and uh, nothing bigger than saving somebody's life at a time like this when we're struggling with the with the numbers of coronavirus cases increasing every single day and many many families distraught nothing bigger if you can help save somebody's life thank you all for joining us today and speaking about this issue